some honourable member care to move that the House take note of miscellaneous business? Uh, Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Dr. Two issues, to, two issues today, Mr. Speaker, highlight the solid, sensible approach that this government takes to environmental issues that will let us build more houses, get more jobs, develop our regions and get infrastructure, and that is with the introduction of the significant 200-page-plus resource management bill that came into Parliament last week, and also reflected, Mr Speaker, in the very sensible position and the leadership that the Prime Minister and Tim Grosser is giving to this country in those important negotiations that are going on, Mr Speaker, in Paris. Mr Speaker, I want to say that particularly on that issue of fossil fuel subsidies, the government is showing that it understands the connectedness between the economy and the environment and getting rid of subsidies of fossil fuels would result in a 12 per cent reduction in global emissions. That is over 100 times more than New Zealand's total emissions. And it is to the credit of Tim Grosser and the Prime Minister that over 40 countries have signed up to that initiative. And I want to acknowledge how hard Tim Grosser has gone around the capitals of the world promoting that position and securing that support. Mr Speaker, I also want to note the increased investment announced by the Prime Minister in terms of agricultural emissions that's not just crucial for New Zealand, but actual to this issue globally. This was an initiative that was announced in Copenhagen. I hear a statement that said that actually the best thing that came out of the Copenhagen negotiations was the research alliance around global emissions and that extra $20 million going into that program shows that this government is serious about addressing the issue but is also serious about marrying together good environment policy with good economic policy because there should not be a single member of this House that does not understand the importance of those agricultural industries. Mr Speaker, I also note with some irony that during the time of the previous government, they were actually subsidising fossil fuels, that the previous government, with the support of the Greens, actually spent taxpayers' money on building a new oil-fired power station at Furunaki and a gas-fired power plant. And what's happened under this government? Apply a sensible price through the ETS and you will change behaviour. Isn't it extraordinary that under a national government, Genesis has announced the closure of New Zealand's biggest single source of greenhouse gas emissions at Huntley, something that should be celebrated and shows how this government is capable of actually marrying together good environment policy with good economic policy. And Mr Speaker, that brings me to the RMA. If there is any parties in this House that are genuinely committed to job growth, to housing development, to infrastructure, they will support the government with that large and important resource management bill. You see, I've heard from Labor for four years that the RMA's got absolutely nothing to do with housing. And I almost fell off my stool last week when I heard Phil Twyford finally say that actually the RMA was the root cause of the RMA problem. I welcome his conversion to Damascus at the last moment and look forward to their support for the bill. Mr Speaker, the last point I'd want to make is I had a letter that was passed on to me from Mr Little on housing. He was asking constituents around solutions for housing. I can't blame him for that. He's not going to get many from a spokesperson. What was interesting, what was interesting in the letter from Mr Little to a resident in Otaki is asking about how he might solve the housing problems in Masterton. Well, 
I know things are a bit of a mess opposite. At the end of the year, Master Turno Tacky, he can't find his way around the country, let alone lead a government. Mr Speaker, the progress on RMA, the sensible negotiations and leadership going on in Parish shows you've got a government that's serious both about economic growth and responsible management of our environment.